All right, so the first thing is the thick client. Like, how do we get into PDM? So very simple question, uh, pretty straightforward for new users. All right, so this interface you're looking at right now, this is just Windows Explorer. I'm pretty sure everybody on this call is familiar with this. It's your, your computer screen, and when you fire up your computer, you have the ability to jump through your local drives. You may have network drives that you map to. You may have things like Dropbox or OneDrive or something like that. Traditionally, we see a lot of people use a network drive. Uh, if there's no database involved currently, it'll be a network drive and there'll probably be a folder on there called engineering. And that's typically where everything goes. And it's kind of acts like a free for all for people to put data in and move data and change data and so on. Now, the way that PDM would change that is instead of jumping to that network drive, you would go to one of your local drives and you'll see something called the Blueberry. We call this the Blueberry. Now, I have two volts on my computer and I'm going to focus on this one today. When you get set up with PDM, you would typically just have one of these and that would be your single repository to access PDM and all your data. Where this works is you double click on it just like you would a normal windows folder to open it but the difference is you get prompted for credentials now these credentials are managed by your pdm administrator internally to your organization so if you need help getting in here your pdm administrator can validate your username provide you with a password and uh, once you have that criteria you can hit login and it should take you into PDM. 